tees. Thanks for the shirt. Okay, let's stop talking about chocolate. I don't need to eat any chocolate or be thinking about chocolate. Google's gone and done it again. They made an announcement yesterday and everyone's a flutter with chatter. I'm Callie Lewis, welcome to Geek Feeds. This episode of Geek TV is brought to you by Carbonite. Three major announcements from Google, one clear winner. We'll talk about Chromecast in a minute. Let's start with Android Jelly Bean 4.3. It's not a major new release. We're not looking at 5.0 just yet but it does have some worthwhile updates. The biggest of all, the ability to have restricted profiles. You could have multiple users before, but the key with this update is that you can set your kids up with their own user profile, and they'll have their own apps, their own local storage, and you can control what your kid downloads and uses. I know you like the sound of that. You can also use this feature for guests at your home, or stores can use it for point of sale systems and kiosks. 4.3 also now has support for Bluetooth smart. Devices that use this low energy Bluetooth connection like heart rate monitors will mean better battery life for you, which means you can play more games or watch more movies or whatever you want. This was a must include feature since iOS already supports it. The new OS is already rolling out to Nexus devices, and of course, the brand new Nexus 7 comes with it pre-installed. They were very excited to show off this device. It's a 7-inch tablet with a true 1080p 1920 by 1200 display, 2 gigs of RAM, a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset. It's faster, it's lighter, and it has a higher resolution. All things you'd expect from an update, right? It'd be available on July 30th, starting at 2.29, and an LTE version will be coming soon to T-Mobile and Verizon. That's not the most exciting thing from the announcement, though. Chromecast is what really got everyone's attention. But don't you think now is the perfect time to thank our sponsor for this show? I do. <laughs> when you're running a business, you cannot afford to lose files just because a hard drive or a server fails. You need to be focusing on running that business and bringing in income. For $229.99 a year, Carbonite Online Backup keeps your business protected. Try it out for free and no credit card. Carbonite.com, use offer code GEEKBEAT, and if you buy, you'll get two months free. There's no harm in trying. You could also say the same thing for Chromecast. It only costs $35. How could it hurt to try? Okay, okay, let me back up here a bit. Chromecast is simply a little HDMI dongle. Think of it as a USB key, but with HDMI instead. It plugs into your TV and allows you to send a signal from your tablet, computer, or phone directly to your TV without cables. So you can watch things like Netflix, YouTube, TV shows and movies from your Google Play account and other stuff on your TV. Now, this isn't exactly like Roku because it's not storing all the apps like Netflix on a piece of hardware sitting at your TV. Instead, you're pulling up the content on your tablet or computer, pressing a button, and wirelessly throwing it over there. Hmm, doesn't this sound like the Q? Maybe a working version? So your tablet or your phone or your computer is not only serving the information, it's also your remote. So this is all cross-platform. You can use iOS devices, Android devices, Chrome OS computer, or the Chrome browser on a regular computer. Really, you can just send any piece of content on your Chrome browser to the TV. For $35, I love the idea. I think a lot of people will find it really useful, and it potentially opens up the world of cable cutting to even more people. The one thing I'm skeptical about is the remote issue. Now, Google touts the fact that your tablet or computer is your remote, and you can still multitask. You can do other things while watching your Netflix show, but I don't think that ever works out perfectly. If you're in the middle of doing an email and the phone rings or someone knocks on the door, you have to fumble over to the browser real quick to pause your show, right? I don't know though, maybe Google thought of that and has made a way to make that a non-issue. We've ordered a handful to test, so as soon as we get them in, we'll give you all the information you need on how it works, the pros, the cons, all of it. So send in your questions, Twitter, Google+, 24-7 chat room, wherever, and let me know what you think of all the announcements. Thanks for watching, I'm Callie Lewis, bye bye Can't yeah, Dude. Dude, seriously? What do I do? You didn't write the show, so you just think you can make all sorts of noise? <laughs> It's a bunch of white people with their shirts off. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Ah, no, not you. <laughs>